The International Physics Olympiad is one of the hardest physics exams in the world. Now let's have a look at probably the easiest question from the 2021 Olympiad in Lithuania. We have this particle that is trapped in this one dimensional box with infinite potential on either side of the box and zero potential on the inside. The amazing thing is that this particle can be described as a de Broglie standing wave just like a mechanical wave that will have nodes on the edges of the box. What will the minimum energy of this particle actually be? The de Broglie wavelength of this particle is given by the expression that lambda the de Broglie wavelength is equal to h over p, where h is Planck's constant and p is the momentum of the particle. The lowest possible energy state will be such that half of the wavelength is contained within the length. This of course means that the length will be equal to half of the wavelength, meaning that our wavelength will be equal to 2L. Let's plug this into this equation. We're going to find that 2L will be equal to H over P. We can also rearrange this for the momentum and what we're going to get is that P is of course equal to H over 2L. So now we have the momentum, but remember, if we have the momentum and if we have the mass, we could easily find the lowest energy because all we need to remember is that the kinetic energy and inside of this box is only kinetic energy because the potential inside is zero, will be given by P squared over 2M. If this here is the minimum energy, the momentum will be given by this expression with this de Broglie wavelength, meaning that E minimum will be given by P squared, which is given by H squared over 2L squared, which is going to give us 4L squared times 2M. And we can just rewrite this as H squared over 8L squared times M. And this here is an expression for the minimum energy of this particle in a box. This expression actually is really representative of the quantum weirdness. Classically, an object could have zero energy. A particle inside of a box could be just standing still. Quantum mechanics does not work like that. There is some zero point energy. Now, you have to be curious, why can't we actually see this zero point energy? And you need to have a look at this video to find out why is this invisible?